I know how it is. It's just like you know, music is supposed to be in your life, yeah, somehow. Well, and it's, it's this is kind of like my break from music, but I'm still well, using music and I'm yeah. just focusing. Well, my, that's what you know, you know. I've designed for a long time, you know, for several years, but you know, that was kind of like something very close. You know, it's artistic. It's a mm-hmm. creative field. You mm-hmm. know, I'm doing my own thing, right? Producing things, but you know, for me, that's that's always going to be a second in which was heartbreaking because when I kind of hit my wall, you know, I was like, I don't want to just say that I'm done. I know that's not reality. Right. But you know, I, what's my, I don't know what my next step is. I've, I'm out of answers. And so I just kind of put my hands up and was like, all right, if this is music supposed to be my thing, then there's going to be, there's got to, something's going to happen at some point. And I was always one that was, pushing trying you know i was always trying to get my you know bandmates and all that it's like just be super aggressive and out there and get in people's faces they'll like it eventually you know yeah yeah (laughs) and just you know we had a lot a lot of my past bands we would kind of get on a good step and then something horrible would happen and that was kind of i feel like that's what you know a lot of bands have to deal with and it's it was very heartbreaking but it was kind of once i kind of just gave up through not not giving up completely but it was like this is out of my control like i feel like i've tried to control my musical destiny right. and right that didn't work for some reason and it's once just I so let funny go, it, it's it just literally just f- kind of fell in my lap and yeah. you know you know it's, it's that's 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 what kind of happens is when you kind of just let go and yeah. let life hit you the way life is going to hit you yeah it's like you can't fight it if you fight it too hard you're just going to find yourself in a bitter yeah and filled with animosity and yeah. just you're gonna yeah. just not love life because yeah. you're gonna just have this constant feeling of you're not hitting your goals yeah. but if you set your goals way too fucking high like i'm gonna be the next justin bieber you yeah. know it's like <laughs> sorry bro sorry bro yeah uh, yeah yeah let's bring it down a little bit let's let's yeah. bring it down first let's learn how to dance <laughs> exactly. Exactly. exactly and then we'll we'll move on yeah but um uh, Kyle was on the last time Kyle was on he had the same thing he had the same thing we had the same conversation on this podcast he was like it's the first time I've really had to like choose what I want to focus on yeah. because for the longest time you know you me Kyle that was it all of my friends it was it was only music that it was, was it. only music it was that was the goal that was the dream I'm gonna make my I'm gonna make my staple as a musician yeah. somehow and make my life and make a life out of it yeah and i think most of i think most of my you know friends that i've got now most of the musician friends have all kind of had that i mean even you know uh like nixon and, and then they had bands early on before before this and kind of hit i guess hit some walls and and it, you know it's kind of it really is sometimes just a test of who can hold out the longest you know and yeah you know for me like i said that was taking that break you know, I still knew in the back of my head that I wasn't done, but something had to be different. And so I was like, I'm just going to take a break. And if something's supposed to happen, it'll happen. And <laughs> if I'm supposed to do something, then that situation will arise, which even that, um, before they had hit me up, you know, it's still been about probably about two years at that point. Um, I met this engineer in Franklin and he needed some some design work done and at that point i was like i've got all this old music that's just been sitting there you know let me try this out and see what can, you know can happen because i've always wanted to do a project that was just completely on my own right and kind of i was kind of just done with having bandmate you know yeah but uh, band, by the way you know. i first started the podcast with saying like how talented you are <laughs> and he's an incredible piano player incredible <laughs> Not just Thanks, a great man. drummer, but a great <laughs> piano player. Do you play guitar too? Yeah. Fucking yeah. God. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Seriously, you play like you play everything. It's it's yeah. incredible. Like, have you always had that? Like, when's the first? ADD. Yeah. What's the? <laughs> Like, what is it? Because I've always wanted to get inside the mind of a person that just can do everything. It's crazy. The only other person... <laughs> there's a lot of people, actually. Not a lot of people, but there there are a few people in my life where I'm just like, no matter what they touch, 
anything creative they just boom uh jim's brother is like that jim's like that too but yeah. jim's brother taylor yeah like he's a fantastic drummer too and then he kind of was like i kind of don't want to do drums anymore i want to focus on video and then Early he started doing yeah. and within That's, a year yeah he's like he's a killer um, photographer amazing photographer. Yeah, yeah amazing and yeah. i'm like how 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 did you do this <laughs> Like I can yeah. kind of fiddle yeah. my way through Final Cut Pro, yeah, and but like man, he just like picked it up and just it's on point did it. Get go and like so. At what point have you always been like that since you were a kid? No, I mean, well, my my dad was a musician, full time musician when I was growing up, and it still is. He, he's focused more on writing books now. Um, but growing up, my dad would go on the road, and I would watch him and his band. Um, and that was just kind of from the beginning just kind of instilled like that's just what i knew so and your your parents were uh, so your my, dad was my dad was very musical um my mom played flute but she was also very involved with pr um we lived in atlanta and there was a big christian music festival called atlanta fest and she was one uh she was kind of the right hand person as far as promoting and the pr and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. So between the festivals and shows that she was booking from like, you know, Supertones and Newsboys and stuff like that right. and watching my dad play, like that's just all that I've known. Yeah. And and so but it's funny because like about middle school, well, elementary school, middle school, like I really want to be into sports. Like that's what <laughs> I want to do. I, I wanted to be a basketball player. I wanted to, you know, play soccer and swim team and karate. Yeah, you know, like, I, like I was just like that's that's what I want to do, especially when basketball hit. Probably about you know fifth grade is when I really got into that, and I'm like I want to be in the NBA. Like I like I saw myself being on you know the Atlanta Hawks. Like that's what I'm gonna be. Like and then I had eighth grade tryouts and didn't make the first cut. So. <laughs> It popped so your that, bubble yeah, real fast. That, uh, <laughs> I learned real quick that that was not my calling. <laughs> but uh, right around that time, um, when that kind of fell out, they there was a there was a group that there was a band that went to different middle schools and high schools and kind of did this, you know, like a nonprofit uh, a show. They would do all these cover songs at this really awesome light setup and sound setup. I mean, it was insane. And they took me out on the road when I was fourteen just to kind of learn how to be a tech yeah you know how to set God, up at 14 that's awesome yeah i, I wish was, they'd uh, still do that i was i was homeschooled at the time and so i went out with him for about about a month month and a half and kind of like got a taste of my own you know doing my own thing and it was like this is pretty cool you know i was all i was interested in the drums ever since i was i was little my dad's drummer i remember i would always just focus on him anytime they were playing and just like i remember one one night they were playing at this church and there's a huge stage big crowd and and i walk up there i was probably about two years old apparently just loaded diaper just <laughs> like stank like nasty and i just walked up there and went by the drummer and just started dancing and he was apparently having to like hold his nose it was so bad but you know it was just kind of that's, you know, I guess that's when it got instilled and it took me a while to finally come back to it. But like I said, when I was 14, went out with that group and then they originally had an acoustic drum kit uh, that their drummer played mm -hmm. and they ended up switching to the, the rolling kit. Right. The electronic. Yeah. And they did that for a while. And at the lap, the very last two songs they did, um, the drums were, you know, no one, nobody was playing. It was more. Uh, electronic sounding so they had that part tracked and and so i kind of i can't remember if i asked them or if they came to me but it was basically i ended up playing those last two songs and getting my first taste of playing on stage and i remember the first time that happened i was like i don't know if i can do this i have to go to the bathroom so bad <laughs> like i didn't have to you had the nervous shits minutes. before oh, the man, shows it was bubble guts <laughs> like crazy and I was so nervous. Like, there's all these kids out there that are like a year younger than me. So, like, we're pretty much, you know, peers, kind of. Right. And they're and they're they're there to judge you. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. all audiences do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're not there to enjoy the show, no, especially no, no. in Nashville. It's especially, yeah. <laughs> and, so, and so, so I I did you know did that with them and you know like I said they had, had they'd switched to the electric kit and they had this this old pearl pearl kit in storage and. uh that sat there for a while, but the the, the main the main guy uh, Charles, 
he uh they, there was a garage sale down our down our street and when he was down down there one day he stopped by with my mom and picked me up this little old ludwig snare drum and i would literally just sit in my room and put on headphones and just go to town on the snare drum i remember i think newsboys step up to the microphone was i mean i that album was worn out. <laughs> and so I would just rock out on just a snare drum, you know, pretend that the room was cymbals and whatnot. And then once he kind of saw that I had a real interest in potential, he he's like, hey, do you want this kit? You know, it's just sitting in storage. And if you want it, I see that you have a love for this and it's yours. And so that's the same kit I've been playing on ever since. And uh, so that was about 14 um Pretty much right after that, you know, I kind of, I'd always kind of tinked around on piano. My grand, both of my grandparents on both sides had pianos. And so it was always around, especially my grandfather played, my dad played. Um, But I didn't really take that, you know, seriously until probably 15 or 16. And really the guitar kind of came the same time. It was more like, you know, I guess, like I said, musical ADD is like, all right, this is awesome. That seems cool. Let me go after <laughs> that. That seems fun. I want to learn that. And like, I've just, you know, I've put a lot of blood and sweat and tears into both and put a lot of time in, but I love, you know, if, if I had to call myself one thing, I would definitely say a drummer, you know, that's, that's my first love, mm-hmm. but you know, it's, you cheat on the drums sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. sometimes, you know, but.